what does Vladimir Putin not understand about our criminal justice system? Well, thank you for having me, Lawrence. I think he doesn't understand anything about it, or if he does, he's quite ready to turn it upside down. As Mr. Karamoza's mother said, it's the world turned upside down. Vladimir Putin is hardly the person to talk to us about how democracy should work. He uses the word democracy, but he means dictatorship. There is no evidence, not a scintilla of evidence, that the prosecutions that he claims are politically motivated against any of these defendants, including Donald Trump, no evidence that they were politically motivated. They were brought, particularly in the case of Jack Smith, by a career Republican, an independent most of the time, but certainly not a Democrat not under the control of the Justice Department. He's suggesting, and he's actually saying, that a real democracy puts its leaders above the law. If you're a real democracy, you never prosecute those who hold the office of president. Well, that's convenient for him. It's convenient for the heads of other dictatorships, like that in North Korea and China. And it would be convenient for Donald Trump, but it's the very opposite of democracy, which requires the rule of law. Constitutional democracy is not a free-for-all in which those who hold power uh, get to exercise it without limit. What he doesn't understand, therefore, is that when we say no one is above the law, we actually mean it. We live it. That's part of our creed. And the idea that this man who murders or imprisons for life, those people who dare criticize him, the idea that he should be telling us how to run our government is really appalling. And it's all connected with his aggressive plans for the world. It's not a coincidence that he made this speech in Vladivostok at the same time that he was criticizing American support and Western support for Ukraine. From the very beginning, he and Donald Trump and some of the other MAGA believers have been embracing one another in the bear hug to end all bear hugs, in which they say that Russia, despite having engaged in an illegal, aggressive war, against Ukraine, annexing territory, committing atrocities, Russia is in the right and we are in the wrong, that we ought not to be supporting Ukraine, that Trump is the right guy to lead us because he would give dictators like Putin everything they want. And it's been clear from the beginning of his ascendancy to power in this country that Donald Trump's loyalty is not to America. It's not to our Constitution. It's not to the well-being of our people. It is either to his own well-being or that of the dictators whom he takes as his role models. They're all wrapped up in one another. And when they praise him for being a very stable genius, he praises them in turn for being really smart and really tough. I think we really are learning what Donald Trump and his movement is all about when we see who their friends are, when we see those who use them as models of what kind of country they want us to be. And that's what's at stake in the forthcoming period, whether through the prosecutions of Donald Trump by Fonnie Willis or by Jack Smith or by Alvin Bragg, or in the attempts by various people to make sure that if he is disqualified under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, that he is left off the ballot. What we are all about is enforcing the law, and democracy under law is the thing that Vladimir Putin cannot abide.